The Word, presented to you by Brothers United in Christ. The Truth, preached to you as written in the Bible. Praise the Lord. We're going to bring this thing out here, man. This is special. This is special for you, too. This joint here, man, is special for you, too, and your brothers in you, too. All you brothers you understand they got all these little congregations throughout America and wherever they may be. The little sanctuary that the Lord has opened up and placed throughout the world. This is for you. This is for your vibration. All you brothers that are off, that are off the zone or straying off the zone, don't know which way to go, check yourself, man. Check yourself. Hear this scripture. Read it. Psalms 26 and 1. Trust me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Hear this scripture say, judge me, Lord. That's what this vibration is about. You come out and preach this word. You go put, put your joint on YouTube. You stand in the street and preach the word. But who are you, man? Who are you? You come out and screaming on people and, and cursing people out all kinds of vibrations. But who are you? Did you did you go to the Lord first? Did you get did you get the breakdown? Or did you learn some lyrics like you learned a rap record? You understand? And then you come to the street and start screaming on people. That's not where it's at. Give me that um give me sound, give me Proverbs 191 and also give me Proverbs 11 and 3. Read it. I'll give me um Psalm 139 and 1. Pick that up. You understand? Like the scripture says, judge me, oh Lord. Judge me. I want to you know, line upon line, right? Give it again. One more time. Right upon 26 one. Psalms 26 and 1. Judge me, O Lord, by walking my integrity. By walking my integrity. That's what this is at. Integrity, man. You just don't come out and pick up the mic and learn a few scriptures, and now you come out and scream on people and curse them out and just scream all kind of badness, man. What about integrity? What about morals? What about being sound in the scriptures, man? You understand? What about practicing what you preach? Come out here and encourage people out. You didn't really form nothing, man. That's the same life you lived before you got down with this body. Read it. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. So you got confidence in this vibration, man. You brothers not going to be confident at all, but we're going to bring it out right now. Read it. Psalms 129 and 1. 139 and 1. 139 and 1. O Lord, thou hast searched and known me. Thou knowest my sitting down and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts are far off. Praise the Lord. Thou knowest my sitting down and uprising. He understands our thoughts are far off. If a brother understood this about Christ and the most high power, he wouldn't be out there going off like he don't care. Like it don't matter. Like anything goes. Cursing people out carelessly or callously, man. I mean, outrageously, man. And you're becoming an embarrassment. You understand what we're talking about? We need to be specific. The great millstone, chief. You leading the charge, man. To harm you cats, man. They following to harm, man. They bugging, man. But the Lord gonna check him. He gonna check you, man. And check how he gonna check you. Psalm 139 to 3. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Acquainted with all our ways, man. That's why the most I bring you gonna raise some brothers up to stick you cats out, man. Embarrass you, brothers, man. You put all this stuff on the, on the internet, YouTube, and, and you're going off simply. Like man, it don't make no sense. It is definitely not righteousness. How can you tell me, man, that you're gonna pick up the Bible from whatever life you came from, and you're gonna pick up the Bible and stand in the street and literally curse people out and call them all kind of stuff out their name, man, and talk about is that righteousness? And talk about the Lord's gonna save you. We talk about righteousness, man. We talk about right works. We're not talking about uh, guile. We are talking about callousness. We are talking about rudeness, man. Read it up. Psalm 139. And four, for there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. He knows some things, man. He knows exactly where you get at. He knows where you're going. You didn't change your vibration. You didn't change your language from when you came off the street. Now you're preaching the Bible and act like you got something. You learn a rap song, man. Brothers come out and learn a few, learn a few scriptures. Now they're out there rapping. Just like rap music, man. Fuck it out some, like, some little, little game or something, man. Read it. I'll show you that. Proverbs 19.01 Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity, man. Humble up, man. Humble up to the truth. Be sincere. You understand? Just don't come up there and feel like it's alright. Just come out here and scream on people. Encourage people. You understand? This brother in, in, in uh, New Orleans. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Team up. <laughs> Get a couple brothers with two or three guys together one day. Damn right to Mr. Christ, man. Shaping yourself up. Get out of all this. This, this cursing people out, man. That don't make it, man. And, you, 
And what are you gonna say? We soft, cause we don't curse, cause we don't use uh, unprovided words? Out of your mind, man. You understand? Proverbs 19 and 1. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips, man. How are you supposed to bring out the word of the Father, but yet you can't help but go out with all this garbage coming out your mouth? Call it guile. Proverbs 19. Show me that. Psalm 139 and 5. Yes. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Right. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. It's too high, man. It's high. I can't attain to it. You understand? That's why we see brothers that going on real carnal life. Because now, they learn a few scriptures, a few lyrics. They find out their nationality. They find a couple of scriptures to go with it. And now they try to break down scriptures themselves. This knowledge is too high for cats. And now they're busting up these breakdowns. They bust up the breaks down, you understand? Where they can't, they can't, uh, they're not breaking down these scriptures properly, man. They're out the zone. And they're cursing the women out. Like that's gonna humble women up and bring women in. I don't curse all your women, all your sisters, all your mothers, all your daughters, all your aunts, and your grandmothers, curse them out. They expect them to come humble up under you. Show them what you got out. Proverbs 11 and 1. Proverbs 11 and 3. Then Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. A false balance is abominable to the Most High Power. A false balance being that, I mean, you claim to be in righteousness, but you don't appear that way. You're standing in the street, you're holding Bibles, you got to come together, you're all together, and you're going to actually talk about the Lord, but you don't appear to be righteous, man. None of the stuff you're giving off is righteous. You can't come out screaming people out, act like you want to beat people up because you got beat up. And now you want to act like a, uh, uh, everything, I mean, where's the righteousness, man? Where's it right at to do these things? Bring out the scriptures and prove everything you're talking about, man. Tell about no woman can't get down. We got wives that been down for years. And they rock this word, man. Read it. Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. A just weight is his delight. If you raise up in righteousness, you're supposed to humble up that wicked vibration you grew up in, man. You're supposed to let some of that garbage go. Understand this, group, man, and check yourself. Read on. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. Then cometh shame. When pride comes, then comes shame. That's where these cats at. And with the great and spirit of the Father, we're going to put you all to shame, man. You hear this word? Oh, man. Crookedly, man. And, and, and it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment, man. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Right. It is high. I cannot attain. I cannot attain unto it. Can't attain unto it. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Whether shall I go from the spirit, from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into the heaven, the heart there. Now this here don't, don't, don't just apply to, 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 to the people of Esau or the people that are running and running America because they got planes and everything. Man. 